Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We are going into hour number two of the total chaos that is Nebula Jazz. Um, yeah. I think we begin not with the ritual to contain one's feelings, um, but with a servant uh, at the party. Now, this servant is blissfully unaware of all of the chaos that is occurring because he's been tasked with going into the back um, and getting some ice. Uh, for the uh, for the bar, and so we see this 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 guy. He's probably just like a looks like a human teenager, but he's green. Um, we see him uh, carrying this this thing of uh, this this empty uh, tray, and he walks over. And he puts it under a chute, and he, he pulls the the chute, and it you know it's got ice written on the chute and a bunch of other like weird languages. And he pulls the chute, and instead of little like blocks of ice coming out, um, little square green gelatinous cubes start bloop, 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 dropping into the thing. He kind of looks at it in horror and backs away as Eugene reforms in the, in the bottom of this bucket. Um, and the kid runs off, uh, terrified. Uh, Eugene, you, you have escaped onto the main floor. Um, you, you don't really know where your friends are. You've got little bits of pink fur still floating in you. Um, right. what, what do you, what do you want to do? Um, so I don't really know where I am. You just like right? in the, in the back hallway somewhere yeah okay so as i'm reforming myself in my mind i'm like fuck you know everybody was waiting for me to be able to get the ship like i fucked up this whole operation everything was going so smoothly and yet here i am i've ruined it and then as i'm kind of like slowly because you know, i don't want to talk to them yet really but i gotta as i'm like slowly <laughs> slinking my way towards the door i hear lots of screaming Yes, yeah. And just mayhem. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on out there? So I don't necessarily feel like, you know, the heat is off of me. So I kind of crack open a door and one one little <laughs> bit of me sort of slips out so that I can see what's happening. And mm -hmm. uh, I I would say that that this was like the the main door between the servants' quarters or like the the back and uh, the yeah, main yeah, yeah, yeah. dining area. Yeah, you're looking you're looking out into the uh, into the kitchen, and I think you catch the end of Thuja pushing Aurora. Actually, you see Thuja slap Aurora, and then scowl and and storm off, and you see Aurora starting to like turn uh, to go. I can say uh, F's in my her. head, you assholes. <laughs> anyway, keep going. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, sorry, air. Um, so, yeah, you you see uh, you see Aurora turn to uh, turn to leave, and the party has degenerated into into chaos. Um, yeah, what's uh, what do you want to do? Um, well, I I think that this looks like some perfect cover for me mm -hmm. to find where everybody is. So I sort of slink out and start, you know. Trying to casually move around every now and then, throwing out an ah, oh, oh no, oh god, save, save me. <laughs> Not really knowing what's going on, but just trying to like blend in, right? <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, so what do you what do you want to do? You want to find your you want to find your friends? Yeah, I want to figure out what's going on. It's very obvious that something is happening downstairs. Right, yeah. that everybody's like keeping clear of that or running out of that. So, but I, I do see Thuja, you said. Yeah, you see or Thuja no. and Aurora um, both. Thuja goes downstairs in a huff and Aurora in a kind of aroused huff. And then Aurora um, follows much more like nervously. Okay, then I, I continuing to oof or oog. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> trying trying to get these really casual lines out and they're not always working. Um make my way toward toward the the basement door, yeah. Okay. And then slink slink my way down there. Okay. Although right. the the further down the steps I get, the more I'm thinking maybe this was a bad idea. But I'm also <laughs> filled with a sense of hope like, hey, maybe nobody even needs to know that I fucked up the operation. They fucked up the operation. This wasn't my fault. It all yep. went, went wrong down here. I was doing great upstairs, as far as they know. So it's, it's you know, there's mixed feelings. Yeah, and I think that we see through, you, you, catch, up with the, you catch up with Aurora, um, and this is, this is the scene, right? We come in, what used to be a, a large, mostly dark kind of cement chamber, 
um, you know, we, we just see this, this column of light and in the middle of it, the, the pillar down in this little pit where Quinn, uh, we see is just like dual wrestling two other enormous lizard men. Uh, there is blood and body parts everywhere. And, uh, in one corner we see, um, Rex feasting on, on some helpless sentient, um, another of another of his victims with no legs is trying to crawl away, and Thuja runs up and boots him in the face, uh, and he, he falls unconscious. And uh, yeah, and Thuja looks over at Rex, like waiting for him to come and devour this one too. Um, so we get this long pan around as you you come up behind uh, behind Aurora and uh, Quinn. Let's 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 find out how this this wrestling situation is going. Um, so to be able to uh, to be able to perform the the bottling ritual. Uh, with these, with these two, um, you have to, uh, yeah, you have to wrestle them, wrestle them into submission. Um, now, if they beat you, it's possible that you can get caught up in their, in their rage, and would need some external force to, to like bring you, uh, bring you out of it. Gotcha. So, uh, I, I guess, uh, I guess we, we'll, we'll, we'll use the initiative order to figure out when, when things are happening. Um, but uh, what is your what is your quick uh, step? Uh, my quick is two. Okay. All right. And there's our. Let's see. Um. There's our three and one. Okay. Perfect. So we'll add them to the list. Um. So there are uh, there are two of them. Um. One of whom. Uh, I'll just put their names on here. Uh, and one of whom is faster than you, and one of whom is mm. slower. All right. So um, I guess the first thing that happens is one of them is going to try to try to overpower you uh, by by leaping on you and uh, dragging you to the ground. Um, you know, you have your hands out, and you're like, "Men, we must retain our sanity." And be, you begin the ritual, and then one of them just blindsides you. Uh, Yahe leaps on you, uh, teeth flashing in the uh, in the in the light. Um, so he's gonna he's gonna attack you with forceful because that's pretty much all these guys know how to do right now. Um, so let's see how that goes. Survey says, "All right, I got a two. Um, how do you defend yourself?" Uh, I would imagine forcefully. Yeah. Right. So yeah. I'm looking at all the other things. I don't think I have a. Um. Yeah, forcefully, I guess. Okay. So, what does that look like? Uh, as he lunges at me, I uh. With, with my with the two jars in my hands, for some reason, I pulled those out beforehand because I didn't think I was gonna have to fight these guys. With the two jars <laughs> in my hand, he lunges at me, but I block him with like I I I sort of like as he comes at me, I uh let him sort of lunge at me and roll with him, but end up on top of him. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, I accept the blow, but then like ninja style it and roll back on top of the dude. Like you can't get one over me fool. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, that sounds, that sounds less forceful and more like flashy or clever. Cause you're, you're like using like judo instead of just like punching him in the mouth. Um, okay. Sure. I'll, either, I'll either it. of those. Yeah. All right. Um, ooh, oh dear, oh dear, Queen. Do you want to? Do you want to spend a, a fate point? Not at all. Take, take I, the hit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I totally take the hit. All right. So you have two, two. You got to deal with. You can just fill your two stress box uh, if yep. you want. All right. So he, yeah, he leaps on you. I think he knocks the jars out of your hand. You have to like use your hands to to fight. They roll to the side of the the arena, but don't don't tumble off. Um, and yeah, he slams you to the ground, and hisses, and his, uh, his his fringe snaps up, and you're just like a wash in in the pure animal rage of this of this bestial creature uh, and you can feel inside the metaphorical jar you know start to 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 strain under the the pressure of your own rage so it's seeping up but yeah it's, unfortunately it's... for them uh due to my excessive drinking earlier which <laughs> as we all learned alcohol does not work well with lizard people Special lizard men, uh, my my entire body is numb to all emotion except for the rage of my friends being held captive. 
Excellent. Drink to numb the pain. Uh, yep. Cool. All right. So um, it's your turn. Uh, you have uh, y- Yahe um, uh, on top of you. Uh, Tolochu uh, ab- about ready to jump into the fight. Um, what do you want to do? And this, this oh, is I... this is combat. So you, if you have your you know your forceful and outnumbered, you can use that. Oh yeah. No, I'm gonna throw this guy off of me, and uh, hopefully onto uh, Tolochu. Okay. Yeah, so you, you've you got him kind of like straddling you and his claws are digging into the wall. You've got your hands on his wrist and you want to flip him and throw him at uh, at his friend? Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, go ahead and roll roll your forceful there. Oh, yeah. All right, so he's going to just... He's a big guy. He's going to just try to keep you pinned down. So he's going to use forceful as well. Um, and how do I do? Holy shit! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Jesus, God! All right. Whoa. So you're you're straining, Whoa. you're struggling. His rage is overpowering. Uh, do you want to spend a fate point? Uh, now, worst worst case scenario, if you don't, um, I get a uh, I get a, a boost that I can use against you on uh, on the other. Uh, well, if I do, uh, the only thing I have is plus two to forceful when attacking. Now you you actually got you actually got a six here, so you're only one behind, not not three like it looks. Oh, right? that's right. Um, I all right. I would I would argue on your behalf. <laughs> Yes. You are one of the fucking guardians of the twelve serpentes. <laughs> you are a fucking alpha male. You are you are bigger than these common lizard folk. <laughs> That's right. That's absolutely right. Well, and, and this is the thing. Like, as one of the guardians of the twelve serpentes, you 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 have all these. You haven't done it in a long time. You've been disgraced for many many moons. But the thing is, here you you've had to wrestle with unruly men who are unable to control their emotions many times before. This is this is your jam. And tragedy of my home world. Yes, literally your job to overpower other male lizard men. And 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 I do. And that's exactly what I do. Okay. Great. Yeah, you 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 draw on your your ancient duties and throw him aside and uh yeah, he clashes with uh, crashes into Tolochu uh and uh yeah, you you leap to your feet. Um uh, Tolochu, I think, rolls rolls to the side. The two of them kind of like crashed in, into each other. Uh, Tolochu is the the slower, um, kind of less experienced of the two. Um, he's he's younger, um, and he uh, it gets down on all fours and lunges at you with his his jaws, trying to clamp his jaws down on your uh, on your neck. Um, so he's gonna he's gonna make an attack, and he he snaps forward uh, with uh, with forceful. And let's see how that how that goes. All right. Um, so uh, you're looking at uh, a two to defend. What do you do? Oh, uh, no more playing around. I just, as he tries to bite me, I punch him in the face. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. You old lizard man uppercut. No problem. Yeah. So literally, like you, you throw one aside, the other one leaps at you, you punch him in the mouth. Uh, he, he staggers back. Uh, you're, you're holding your own. Um, and it was, it was, I'm, I'm treating them. They, they have one health pool. Um, so you, you did one wound before, right? Yeah. One stress. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. So, um, while that's happening, uh, Rex, you are, you are mid feeding frenzy. When I think you look up bits of viscera hanging from your razor teeth, uh, and you see looking down at you with a mixture of, uh, uh arousal and pride, uh, your girl Thuja, uh, and uh, yeah, she's just she's just like stomped on something that was trying to get away from you, uh, and she yeah she grins at you. Uh, what do you what do you do? Uh, I think like at this point, there's pretty much no one left in the basement. There's only yeah, there's one just thing the fight, and there's yeah. just corpses. Yeah, and, and you're uh, like you got, you got a little like little belly going on because you're so full of like ch- chewed up Ooh, meat a sexy yeah. belly sam so one thing left to do <laughs> rex wasn't a little like, he wasn't like sticking feeding out. mindlessly like yeah. for him like the bloodlust is kind of like a high like he just he enjoys it and as such he was mainly just targeting like things that would be sport for him so it was like the the bigger like males he was kind of ignoring like the little people that were scurrying away and yeah. uh, and he's kind of good. And at this point, the only point, the only thing he sees fighting, is the lizards in the pit. And mm-hmm. uh, and I think he like tosses away like a calf that he was holding, and kind of like brushes himself off and gets to his feet. And he's like covered in claret, and <laughs> uh, and uh, he just kind of like surveys the the fight, and he kind of ignores what's beneath Thuja's foot because 
He's, yeah. He's good. He's had his he's had his fun. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. You, and I mean, you see the 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 only other thing I guess you see past uh, past her to yeah Quinn wrestling these two these two lizard boys, and at the door uh, you see uh, Aurora come in. Um, so Aurora, you, you you come in the doorway. Okay. I mean, at this point, I just sort of wait. I wait for uh, when Eugene gets down, or I'm just waiting by the door at this point because I mean, there's like, what am I gonna go eat people? Probably not. So I just like you see me just like my back go against the wall and I just slide down while Sparky like comes and sits all nice next to me, and I'm just like waiting for everyone to stop screaming and running out and, and Sparky Sparky out. trots over trots over with a severed arm uh, in his teeth and like <laughs> drops it at your feet and just looks at you. Uh, and I sort of just I reach out a foot and I just like kick it away very carefully so I don't get more blood on me more He's- than there already is. He scampers. He scampers over to it and picks it up and comes back to you and drops it at your feet. I, I do it again. <laughs> okay, so you, <laughs> I haven't you, learned my lesson. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, and then Eugene, I think you you drift down into the uh, into the into the room and you see this this horrifying scene, blood everywhere. I just like you know that GIF uh, from Community where he runs in with pizza and everything's on fire. <laughs> I come in kind of like that, like, what's going on down here, you know? And the second that I come down, I survey, I look around, I see all of the just madness, <laughs> and I yell, what the guck are you geese doing down here? <laughs> and it echoes really badly for a really long time. <laughs> mm-hmm, hmm And I'm like, oh, Eugene, did you come to eat and kill people as well? <laughs> Quee. Can we make it a thing that in the slime homeworld, what the guck is actually what you guys say? Yeah. <laughs> what the that's a very, guck? That's, that's, a very what serious, the guck? that's a very serious blasphemy. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm serious right now. Yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> so Oogies ruined the whole operation. Ooh. And ooh. And ooh. All of oohs. <laughs> It's definitely not your fault, Eugene. Definitely not your fault at all. Yeah, um, Rex kind of turns around and he looks and he's like, "You smell like marsupial." <laughs> I, put my, I put my hand on Eugene as if like feeling for a fever. I'm like, "Are you feeling okay? Are you feeling okay?" <laughs> I heal kind. Thank you. <laughs> it's confusion, just utter confusion. Like, okay, yeah. Um, so, about that, uh, Rex, do you want to explain why you ate, like, ten people or whatever it was? I didn't keep count. <laughs> Not really. Uh, wondering if uh, <laughs> Quinn needs any help, though. And uh, he kind of, like, he picks up, like, a, a rag shirt that is, like, he's ripped off a dude. And he kind of, like, wipes his face and looks towards the ring. And, uh, and he kind of yells, like, you need a hand? So yeah, we cut over to uh, the smaller, faster uh, lizard man, Yahe, uh, swinging his tail uh, towards towards Quinn to try to knock you off balance. Um, so he's attacking with uh, he's attacking with quick. And hang on, let's see here. How do we do? Uh, oh, sorry, that was your character sheet. Let me use his. Uh, <laughs> he's a little he's a little quicker than you. Here we go. Uh, all right, so yeah, same same role. Uh, it should be easy for you to dodge. The tail comes swinging in. Um, what uh, what do you do? You just jump over it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. just jump over it. Okay, yeah. So it, it slides across the floor, and you uh, yeah you you leap over uh, Yahe's tail, uh, land on the ground, and it's your turn. What are you gonna do? I uh, wanna. Who's the closest one to me? Who is the um? Yahe just swung his tail at you. Uh, told you you punched and knocked back, so he's he's a little further away. Oh, then Yahe, I'm gonna grab and like just pummel him mercilessly about the face and body. <laughs> okay, good, good. Go ahead and go ahead and forcefully do that. That's not very two, forceful. Two is worth of punishment. <laughs> let's see if and let's funneling. see if he can de- let's see if he can defend himself. Um, so he, uh, yeah, he's going to try to, to like juke out of the way. He's, he's dodging your, your quick, uh, your quick blows. Uh, and he, no, he doesn't. All right. Not. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to have to spend one of my points. 
So I'm going to do that. I'm going to invoke one of his. Uh, I'm going to invoke one of his uh, his his aspects uh, so that he's able to uh, to dodge. So he's yeah, he's fast. You're trying to grab him and and pin him, punch him, but he's 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 coated in the the slime of battle and slips away from you, and uh, you're you're not able to get a hold of him to to put the punishment on. He's um, coated in the slime of battle. That's right. Mm. Yeah, there's like a special there's a special kind of like kind of goop that y'all get on you when you get fighty. Um, it is known. It is known to be It's trapped. like lizard sweat. Yeah, yeah a little yeah, yeah. bit. You exude you exude a sort of slipperiness fluid so that but you know, sweat, predators we don't call it sweat. We call it the slime of battle. It's the slime of battle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh that's yeah, right. Yeah. Quinn Quinn, you're not a two, you're at a four. So you, you hit him for three. Um uh you would normally hit him for three. That bumps me up to three. So yeah, same effect because I spent it. Um cool. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm just, I'm adding everybody else so we can figure out when everyone else gets to go. Cause people can call out, um, things to help you and they can, they can get involved. So Eugene, Aurora and Rex, um, what's everybody's quick Eugene? Zero. Zero. Okay. Aurora, what's change yours? Change thing for me. Nope. Sorry. Two. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Like hagfish slime. Exactly. Thanks chat. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then Rex, your quick is pretty high, right? I'm a three. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Um, there we go. Cool. Okay. Um, Rex, what would you, uh, what would you like to do? Rex doesn't really understand what's going on. Yeah. They're, <laughs> like, they're, they're some, what he some... sees is Quinn, instead of saving his lizard brethren is mm -hmm. beating the shit out of them. So he kind of just like squats on his knees on the edge of the pit. And after asking if Quinny's any help, he's just kind of like surveying and watching and waiting for a response, to which there has been none. So Zero he's kind of just watching this go down. He doesn't really understand the situation. He's coming down off his high. Yeah, and you've seen, I mean, between the two of you, like you've seen Quinn fight before, and Quinn is fighting differently than usual, right? Like Quinn, you're you're not you're not fighting to kill. Because these these young pups, you could you could probably just like tear the throats out if you needed to, but you're fighting like to restrain. His, his hands are closed instead of open and claw-like. Mm. Uh, yeah. So I'm, like, Rex is kind of just waiting to see if he needs help with anything. Doesn't want to really jump in the pit. The lizards are all... Rex is a strong guy, but lizard men are about two feet taller than Rex. It's not really, you know, profitable for him to just start fighting random lizard men. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to use Yahe's turn to uh, create an aspect, um, and uh, I want to I want to create an aspect that is um, basically about the like the fervor of battle, the the cloud of uh, uh, of pheromones. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and he's gonna try and do that. Um, I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use flashy to do it, um, and I think I think we'll just make it an even chance. We'll, we'll call it uh, we'll call it three. Let's see how we do. There it is. Okay. So, so what happens instead of attacking? So, so Yahe is kind of like circling around you, hissing. Um, he's realized that maybe you know the the two of them are are facing a a great foe, and he's circling around you and hissing and snarling. And we can see his his pheromone vents open, and he he exhales this powerful cloud of invisible pheromones uh, into the uh, into the air, and. Uh, Either of them can use it, but also anyone else can. Um, and consider the cloud of pheromones narratively. What this means is that everyone's emotions are like ratcheted up a little bit. So uh, everyone who's present in the scene, you all feel whatever you would normally be feeling more. So if you were scared, now you're more scared. And if you were angry, now you're more angry. It's just like an amplifying fear. Uh, <laughs> amplifying feeling. Uh, Quinn, you you have to kind of shake your head and, and blink through because you can you can smell it more clearly than everyone. Uh, there's this kind of pheromone cloud, and I think there's like there's stories in Lizard Man uh, history of you know entire villages losing themselves in the in the old times before we had the jars, right. the sacred jars. Right. You know the lizard men would lose themselves in this pheromone cloud and fall into an orgy of blood and violence and sex, and it would just it, you know it was a big threat to Lizard Man society. This this exact thing that's happening. So you you feel it affecting you um but you're still able to kind of fight through it uh what uh what are you gonna do um i, I again i uh just try to take out any of them that i can because i'm not really this is this is 
this is this is a brawl now. This isn't like we're not it, we're just fighting. We're just scrapping now. So I'm, yeah. I'm I'm just like swinging wildly at dudes trying to knock them out. Okay. All right. Uh, who are you? I mean, it doesn't really matter. You, you're uh, Yahe is like circling around you. Tolchu is looking for a, an opening to attack, so he's probably the closest. Yeah, Tolchu just right in his damn face. Okay. All right. Punch Big old him. lizard man fist comes swinging for his face. Okay. So forcefully get your plus two. <laughs> Do you want to use? Uh, let me let me roll the defend, then you can choose to re-roll that. Cause it's a, it's only a three. You can do better. I believe in you. I know I can do better. I'm All right. Gonna so I'm going to resist. Seven. I'm going to resist with forceful. Uh, so this is, this is what you got to deal with. Um, the two of you, yeah, the two of you are tangling, uh, his muscles rippling under his scales. And he's, he's power. He's overpowering you. Um, but you can call on, you can call on an aspect if you want to roll that. Um, I think, uh, I want to keep tangling with him. I don't. I want to keep. I want to keep locked with him, in combat. I don't want to. Like I want to keep rolling around with that dude. Like I don't want to knock him down. I want to like stare into his eyes, and let him know that I am no danger. We are brothers. Oh, so you want to you want to try to like, over overpower him with the force of your will. Yeah. Rather than physical, ooh, taking a different tag. Okay. So what's cool about that is it's the same. You can still use your best stat, right? You can still you can still do all that um, with that kind of action. But yeah, looking go ahead at and... him so forcefully right yeah, now, we're yeah. fucking okay. burrowing into his brain. Yeah, right, man. So you just you just like exude counter pheromones that are like calm. Yeah. Calming, <laughs> calming spray. You okay. just look at each other going Psh, like an Psh. ocean breeze. <laughs> it's it was heady. like, oh god, it smells horrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you uh, so you spend your you spend your point and you get to you can reroll your forceful. Hell yeah, let's do this. It's not much better, unfortunately. One better. That's one. So you're, better. you're four. You're four uh, over his uh, over his three. Um, so he uh, yeah he's gonna uh, he's gonna take one uh, take one stress. So getting there. Um, yeah, so, so, uh, Tlochu, the, the slower of the two, you managed to grab him and, and kind of like wrestle him to the ground and spray him with like calm down, uh, uh like overpowering pheromones, alpha pheromones. And he kind of like blinks and like shakes his head. And for a second, you can see the, the glimmer of true lizard person intelligence under the cloud of, of rage. Uh, Aurora, what do you want to do? You can see, I mean, for you, the, it just, it smells weird in here. What were you? What are you? What's your predominant emotion? What What's the emotion that's getting um, boosted by the cloud? I mean, I think like like it says, like I think Aurora is typically a pretty laid back person, the happy go lucky. Usually tries to say oh, positive. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I compel you? I want to compel you here. Okay. So here's the thing, robot girl. Um, you know, you don't have any emotions, right? You're this shouldn't affect you. Robot. You're a robot. Um. <laughs> I would like to compel you to pick a, a strong emotion, whatever you'd like it to be, and flip out, like have an emotional like attack because the human part of you is being heavily messed with by these pheromones. You 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 know it's it's overcoming your your emotional state because you're you don't have emotions, but suddenly this like upwelling in your 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 core programming gets fucked up. Um, if you take the point, uh, I want you to whatever you do, act purely emotionally. Rather than like logically or with thought. Oh what my do you think? God. Yeah. You, take it? <laughs> you get to pick what the emotion is. Oh, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm sitting next to Eugene. I'm gonna take it. Okay. And I'm sitting right. next to Eugene, and suddenly, like this, just cloud of, of happiness just overwhelms me, and the song up above changes, and I look at Eugene. And I'm like, oh my God, this is my favorite song, and I just get up and I just start squealing. And like Sparky drops the arm, like he's been gnawing on it and it's disgusting because he's a robot dog. What is he gnawing on it for? And then he drops it and starts barking and he starts like going around in circles around me. And I just start like dancing and, and just like squealing and having so much fun. And I'm like, Eugene, come dance with me. Come dance with me. Oh my gosh, come dance with me. I start what like is this? on Eugene's slide. So here's, like, yeah. yeah, here's the here's the thing. The song that comes on, I had to check to see what year it was released. The song that comes on is Girls Just Wanna Have Fun by Cindy Lauper. It comes on at song. full 
at full volume and you're just overwhelmed with joy, Aurora. Um, and you, we see we see Aurora's pupils dilate as she like tries to scoop Eugene up to be like, come on, and like runs no. out onto this no. blood stained no. dance floor. <laughs> and I absolutely like refuse to let go of Eugene's slime, so I'm just like stretching as I'm like dancing with Eugene in the back while it, like Sparky's just going crazy. So, oh boy, yeah. Eugene, it it is your turn. Um, what, what do you what do you want to do? What do I have to do to create an aspect? You just tell me the aspect you want to create or something like it. And we can figure that out. And then I'll tell you what to roll. Okay. I want to create an aspect called a buzzing in my ear because my <laughs> voice is so fucking annoying and I am so loud right now. The echo is crazy. I would like to create an aspect that, uh, that just like my voice is generally distracting. Like it's hard to think through. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I like it. How obnoxious I am. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Um, flashy, then, is the action, for sure. Uh, we'll say uh, difficulty is two. Okay. Oh, that's... Y'all are rolling great today. Um, what the you're, you're, fuck? You're overcome by sudden silence. Um, do, yeah. you have a, do you have a fate point you would like to spend to reroll that? It's my last one. It is your last one. That's true. And then Jesse will make you do bad things with that fate point that he has. <laughs> no, I'll I'll wait, and if this is still going on, I'll try again next time. I yeah, so I like I'm I'm you know, she's just she's just trying to scoot me into this weird dance, and I'm saying no, and then I realize that in order to really convey my feelings, it's gonna be just embarrassing because I can't actually say what I want to say because I'm missing two letters and it's just, I just, I get into a huff. <laughs> right. Just, okay. Just like, so you're, you're, <laughs> your predominant, your predominant emotion that's being caused by the pheromones is indignance, I guess. And you just, you yeah, get I'm just irritated. I'm like, everything is irritating in much the way that this aspect I was trying to create was an irritating aspect. I am I overwhelmed with this irritated feeling of just like everything's going wrong and, and she's trying to get me to dance and I don't want to dance and she's just like touching me and I don't want to be touched right now and he can smell that there's a marsupial on me and like, fuck, I don't want to be here. I'm <laughs> just, <laughs> just <laughs> Excellent. <angry. laughs> All right. So meanwhile, in the lizard pit, uh, Tolochu, uh, still uh, under the under the, the the deep pheromone power of uh, of his anger, uh, takes a uh, takes a claw swipe at Quinn. Uh, Quinn, you are looking at a two to resist. What are you gonna do? Um, I'm still locked with the other guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I keep losing track of which one's which, but yes, there is a lizard man that you're pinning down, and then there's another one that like leaps on your back. I guess that would be yeah. I'm going to uh just like roll and try to like just if he's on me, if he's slashing uh, if he's slashing at me, I want to roll the other guy to him. Right, yeah, so kind of put him up as a, as a shield. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, quick quick or clever, either one. Okay, uh, I still got some fate points. I'm going to go ahead and spend, uh, I'm going to spend them. Um, so I'm looking at a two versus a three. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use. Who keeps see. giving you fate points, man? Get out of here with this shit. I'll, just use, I'll use both. I'll use both the ones that I have to give me a plus. Uh, <laughs> what? A, give me a plus two and a reroll. So let's reroll that shit. So I start oh, with a six. It goes oh. up to an eight. So you're looking at five that you need to you need to resist. And then I'm out of fate points until somebody compels an NPC for this scene. So, uh, yeah, this is the last the last big the last big thing before because they're they're coming up on you beating them. So, uh, yeah, what do you what do you want to? How do you resist that? Do you want to spend that point? You want to reroll? Um, because five five is significant. Five is a significant. Uh, five is a pretty big hit for you. Um, is it a five? It's a three, uh, yeah. You got a three. I got a six because I spent one on the reroll and one on a plus two. Oh, gross. Okay. Um, I want to not only use. I mean, if I all right. First off, <laughs> uh, I I only have one thing left. Um. Uh, 
if, but if I, here's the thing. If I use this one, I don't. There's nothing I can use because the best I can do is a two plus two, right? Yeah. So your choices right now, uh, looking at what you have ticked on your on your sheet, uh, mm -hmm. your your choices are to uh, take the worst consequence you can take. Um, so uh, get hit with a uh, yeah three shift. Uh, well, well, here's here's my question for you. The three that I have ticked was from the bar fight. Does that still okay? Count? That shouldn't that shouldn't be ticked. Yeah. All right. Okay, so what you're what you're oh. looking at then is you can absorb three of that uh, that total, three of the eight, uh, with with that stress box, and then take the rest in consequences. But the problem is with the consequence, you you have to either take a moderate and a mild or a severe to eat up the All rest. Right. So what if instead How are you defending, do... Jesse? Are you defending? Uh, he was trying to defend with quick. He was trying to be quick enough to like roll the other guy in the way. Uh. Yeah. Um, here's, here's what I would say. Uh, let's do a, uh, so I definitely failed to roll the guy and, <laughs> and instead, uh, as this guy slashes at me, because I've just had enough of this bullshit, I want to use my, uh, reroll for forceful and instead just like hold my hand out at this guy's face. Like, stop it, dude. <laughs> okay so, I'm just so, done. so you'll have to yeah so so you're you're for the reroll you roll the same you roll the same stat so in this in this case oh. the reroll actually won't serve you you can just use it as a plus two. Oh, all right then i'll yeah. do that and take the damage from the rest of it okay and which and which aspect uh which aspect are you using uh disgrace guardian yeah 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 okay all right so you spend your last point uh, which gives you a plus two, which reduces the, the three damage. Yeah, reduces the five down to down to three, and then you take the stress. Perfect. So that helps you avoid any permanent consequence. So yes, the 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 claws. You know, you you do get like scratched up, but as soon as the fight's over, you'll be fine. You grab him, and he slashes at you, and he's like a lizard drool falling over your face. The two of them are are on top of you, scratching and clawing. Um, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it because I may not get another chance. I'm gonna use Cloud of Pheromones to bump that up and make you take at least a mild consequence. You got to use that two consequence. So the consequence will only last till the end of the fight. But what do you want to call it? Like scratched up? Um, is it a physical consequence or like an emotional or mental one? It's just a little one. It's just the two. I'd like I'd like it to be uh, an emotional consequence. Okay. Where I just start. Like tearing up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Aww. Like he just Poor can't. Quinn. He just can't handle that. That he's trying so hard for these guys, and he loves them so much as his brothers, and they will not listen to him. And he's like, animu tears. He's like, shh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Let's call this. Let's call this consequence more than a feeling. Yep. Yep. And yeah. This this fight's really just like it's getting you, you know. Like there's there's a lot on the line. Uh, it'll fade when the fight is over, but I get one one free shot on it um, okay. during the battle, and then I can I can trigger it uh, later. Uh, okay, Rex, it is your turn. You can see a single lizard man tear slide down <sighs> Quinn's scaly face. Is there? How will I find out a consequence about one of these lizards? Uh, you can, so you want to, aspect, you, sorry. yeah, you can roll to find out their aspect. Um, you tell roll. me how you do it. I mean, based on my knowledge of Quinn and, and his people and what he's told me, um, looking at these lizard men. Yes. Uh, Rex tries to figure out if he um, can see a, ch a chink uh, that he can exploit. You know, he wants to just figure out something about these lizards that might help Quinn. Yeah, totally. That's that's great. Okay. Um so it looks like you're it sounds like you're being careful. You're carefully analyzing uh, yeah. for for an opportunity here. So go ahead sure. and uh, go to my careful. I'll say difficulty just to pick out one of their aspects. You know enough about lizard men, you've been around them. Uh difficulty is 2. All there right. You go. Okay. So one of their aspects, uh, I will I will copy uh, Thuja here and we'll use her as the template. Uh yeah, hey, and Tolochu, because right now they're one character, basically. Uh, they have they have an aspect called uh, Loyal to the Clutch. So 
these two, um, they they are motivated at least in part somewhere deep down under their emotions to protect the their their clutch. They see each other and Quinn as competing um, males trying to like take apart their family. Um, so if you can use that loyalty uh, for your advantage, um, that's that's a thing you can do. And now, now that you know one of their aspects, anyone in the group can compel Yahe or Tlochu to a certain behavior. Um, cool. Or they can they can set an event compelled to say something is true as relates to the the clutch. Um, and you can do that uh, anytime, not just on your own turn. Um, I think you look over and you're, so you're standing there like staring at the fight and Thuja is beside you. Um, and you can see her kind of like anxiously like shifting like from foot to foot. And she, she looks over you. Or she doesn't even look over. She just tilts her head to like talk to you. And she's like, you know, I never realized it before, but your friend's kind of hot. Rex like watching, just like in fight. Rex just like lifts up a hand and cuts her off. <laughs> yeah, just like shut the fuck up. Quiet. And, uh, <laughs> and and he's just like watching this go down. And like he's he's tearing on the edge of like jumping in. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know if at this point should he jump in, but like clearly this is like a lizard thing. And is it gonna hurt his relationship with Quinn if he interferes? I'm so, already uh, crying. There are yeah. tears everywhere. I think. Rex is just like, uh, just again, he just prods again and he kind of like yells into the pit and he's like, you need help? <laughs> so when you, when you say that, right, like you need help, this is when uh, Yahe, the, the quicker and smaller of the two, uh, throws himself at, uh, at Quinn, sensing weakness in your tears. Uh, he, uh, he hurls himself at you, snarling. Uh, so he's going to use, he's going to use his quick to try to get at you. Um, and I got a three. How do you defend yourself against oh, Yai? I am, I have, there's no pretense. I am not <laughs> careful or clever or flashy. There's not a quickness or sneaky in me. I'm just, I like slap him away. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Throw your arm aside. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, defend with forceful. Oh yeah. All right. No problem. So yeah, you just, just backhand him and he, like crumples down onto the floor, uh, unable to attack you. Uh, it's your turn, Quinn. Um, you could, if you, if you, if you throw yourself behind this, you might be able to, you might be able to to win it. Oh, I 100%. Uh, uh, like the guy who's underneath me just start bashing mercilessly in like the stomach to get him to stop. Okay. Because I'm like, just like you're so mean. Right, I'm just beating it. Now you you have anyone in the group has one free uh, one free uh, invoke of loyal to the clutch uh, against them. So if you can find a way to to convince this lizard man to stop fighting because of that aspect, you can either re-roll or use it, even though you don't have any points. Um, but go ahead and uh, yeah, go ahead. Jesse, and roll. I'm gonna compel you. <laughs> oh, okay. Christ. Okay. Yes. So you like lift your fist, ready to to thunderously bring it down on your on your your brother. In the background, here. Rex is like, "Yo, what if instead?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm All gonna right, I'm gonna this... compel you. These what, guys what? don't what? know that you are a guardian of the twelve serpentes. All right. You haven't told them. Okay. I'm gonna compel you to make sure they're aware of who you are. Mm, okay. So behavioral compel here is that uh, it's Quinn's, what, pride in being a former a former guardian? Quinn's pride, but also, like, if they're loyal to the clutch, they're loyal to the, the ways of the lizard men. Ooh, and this right, is but fucking... Also, he's, but this he's is disgraced. I'm disgraced. Ooh, if I tell they them, they might find out and be like... They don't know if you're disgraced right now. They're in a You gotta just try to edit that planet. part out in the moment. <laughs> but I'm like, but when they come to, they're gonna realize, like, wait, this guy is... The one, the only guardian who's alive, and he was forced off our planet. I'm compelling you. Take it or leave it. <laughs> well, he can't. He can't leave it. Uh, so he can. He can offer like a counterpoint, but that's the that's the jam. All right. I guess I have to. I guess I have to. So what does that look like, Quinn? So, uh, Quinn, tears in his eyes, just beating about the chest of this guy, is just like. I can't even do a crying dude. <laughs> his 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 gruff voice, but also underneath it hides the real pain of what being a lizard man is like. Because everyone hates them so much, like it just wears down on them. Uh, as he beats this man, he's like, 
I am Quinn Talak Talak, <laughs> the last guardian of the 12 Serpentes. <laughs> and he's just pounding them. <laughs> and, and like tears are streaming from his eyes. And like it, he's out of his, one of his nostrils is like one of those like snot bubble boogers. <laughs> like he is a mess, <laughs> just a mess. And, and he starts <laughs> like, he's like, I'm a son of Slim. <laughs> like you you're just pounding on him <laughs> so yeah. I like how this becomes less about their redemption and more about Quinn's shame and also while all this is happening like girls just want to have fun is in the background <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> we just see like Aurora like dancing her pants off oh boy all right so uh, let's let's have you. Um, I don't think I think I don't think you're attacking anymore. I think you're creating you're like creating an aspect or something like something else is going on here besides the attack because of this compel. Um, I think yeah maybe you're creating an aspect uh, called like respect for the serpentes or something like you, you you're you're kind of trying to remind them of where they came from. Uh, so let's have you roll flashy. Um, you are over, you're, uh, you're not overcoming, you are creating an aspect. So flashly creating an aspect, uh, let's say difficulty, uh, difficulty is two. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> oh. oh God. All right. Uh, so unless you well, want to spend my that point. My reputation's on the line, so I get plus two, right? Um, you are not, you're not overcoming, you're creating an aspect. Oh, well, yeah. what if the aspect is golf rules? So, so what? <laughs> so what happens? What happens when you fail to create an aspect? Um, you, uh, yeah, you you don't uh, you don't get to create it, and I get to create a free invocation. So I'm gonna create an aspect with a free invoke okay. called Quinn's horrible shame, <laughs> and everyone in the room sees your lizard man breakdown. Like everyone witnesses you. Your your like warrior aspect just crumble, and they see deep into your 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 deepest buried shame, and your your lack of dignity and, and gravitas is is on display for all. Uh, even Cindy Lopper can can see it. Um, Shit. Yeah. All right. Uh, Aurora, what would you like to do? <laughs> Oh man, I'd say right about this moment is when the song like starts to fade into the next song and the sadder song comes on and then like her emotion changes with the music where suddenly she just like breaks down in tears and starts crying and she walks over to Thuja and she's like, oh my God, have you ever heard this? It's just so beautiful. Oh my God. And anyway, she like, just, like takes yeah. her, she takes Thuja's like shirt and like starts wiping her tears on it. She's just straight arm. <laughs> she just like puts her hand on your forehead and she's like, don't touch me. And he's like trying to hold you at bay while you like sob into her hand. And 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 Aurora just like oh, I never realized how beautiful you were. Oh, I forgive you for earlier. It's okay. I understand. You just you have a hard time. And <laughs> and then like Sparky kind of gets distracted, I think, with Quinn. So he's like lost interest because Aurora is not playing fetch and whatever. Um, and I think Sparky tries to hmm. I think maybe as well create a distraction um, by like he just starts barking and you see him go into like uh, the the bigger form where his bark just gets louder and deeper and mm -hmm. like he he now sees that they're wrestling around and he wants to join in the fun but he hasn't jumped over yet he hasn't jumped over yet and I think like most mostly I just want him to be like a support so okay yeah so you can just use your action to give Quinn a plus two on his next roll oh I can just do that okay. Yeah. Well, then that I'm, is perfect. I'm okay. To do that. So even though Aurora is lost in whatever song is playing, like Total Eclipse of the Heart or whatever, trying to like cry on on Thuja's shoulder, um, Sp Sparky is yeah giving you giving you the best cheerleader bark uh, that he can manage uh, to to snap you out of your your sadness, uh, Quinn. Uh, Eugene, uh, you've been initially like bisected by Aurora who tried to hug you and then you like split apart. And then you, right. you know, you got dragged around the floor a little bit. You got blood floating in you. Um, everything is a mess. What are you, what are you doing? What's your plan here? I think at the, like still filled with this just irritation at the whole situation. Like Aurora starts crying. Quinn <laughs> is crying. 
Rex is just kind of like, see, looks like he's not doing anything, right? It's just like, mm, mm. I just lose it. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. what is going on? Ooh, stop crying. And ooh, get in there. <laughs> just like, what? What is everybody doing? <laughs> like, I just can't like lose it. And I would like to again try to create an aspect that my voice is so obnoxious and distracting. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's uh, let, let's have you let's have you roll. You're trying to be flashy. Uh, flashy, right? Everybody's kind of distracted with their own shit. Uh, but you got some you got some some chance here. Let's say three. Okay. All right. Okay, I could work with this. Yep. Um. Uh, the, only, the only thing, the only thing that you have a, uh, the only thing you have a, a, a free invoke on is Quinn's horrible shame. Um, I guess that's me. I, you, you can invoke Quinn's horrible shame if you spend a point, any of your own points or the cloud of pheromones. But you have to spend, you have to spend points for all of that. What would you like to do? Um, well, I'll, I'll have to spend something regardless. Yes, you'll spend your last point regardless. Right. Um. So I'll say uh, we are all connected and that like I'm slowly starting to come like everything's starting to come back to me. I am at my loudest. I am at my most obnoxious right now nearly. So it's it's pretty spot on is what I'll say. Okay. So, yeah, and I think that, the, I mean, you you have this kind of innate uh, community-mindedness built into your your cultural psychology, right? Like, yeah. at, at one point, you were one with the mighty the mighty guck, as all, uh, as all your people are, and so yeah. you feel connected to all living things, even though you yourself are like a shitty loner. Um, but you're kind of losing it right now, and you're you're broadcasting, and maybe this is a venue we can go down later in the show, but maybe there's some some psychic connection that you build up with people, but you can now feel... You can help them feel the feelings that you're feeling. And I think I'm going to call this aspect every now and then I fall apart. <laughs> As you all start to feel Eugene's just fed up with this whole fucking situation. And uh, you can feel your own, your own emotional like shell starting to, starting to crack. Um, Tlochu, uh, seeing a moment of weakness in Quinn's, uh, in Quinn's shame, uh, hurls himself uh, at Quinn. Uh, snarling and spitting, Quinn. What do you? How do you respond? How do you defend yourself? Oh, still forceful. It's all I can do. I, yeah. I I'm an yeah. emotional wreck. All right, do it. Oh, oh God. All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my free invoke of Quinn's horrible shame. Um, so that goes. That brings me up to a five against your zero. Would you like to spend the fate point you have? Find a way to work in every now and then I fall apart for free or both. Uh, two for turn, me. turn around, bright eyes. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I feel like every now and then, every now and then I fall apart, uh, is, is the, the true curse of the lizard man that even the strongest of lizard men every now and then have a moment of weakness and, yeah. and are emotionally overcome by the burden of their existence. Yeah. 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 I like it. So you, you, you like, this is a, this is a thing that happens uh, among your people and you're resisting not only your own feelings, but the feelings of your whole, your whole species and the great, the great downfall. Um, yeah. It's true. Once upon a time there was light in your life. Yeah, now there's only love in the dark. Oh. All right, <laughs> <laughs> go, go ahead and uh, you can either let's see, uh, you can reroll that. That would probably be beneficial as a start. Well, if, uh, he, if he does that though, then he has my plus two, and that's a four. Uh, yes, yeah, or you can just add two and then take four. Uh, I also have forceful. Um, I wasn't attacking, so yeah, it was a defense. Yeah, so you're uh, you're actually two two against uh, five. So you you've got three to account for. I if would you like to read and then I fall apart. Sure. You can roll. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's much better. <laughs> Finally, jeez. Uh, cool. And I think uh, that you get a uh, I think as a result of like uh, defend with style, you get a boost. So let's let's go ahead and add one for you. Uh, 
Because that's what this is about, really. It's about love in the dark. There's your boost, man. I was going to so, say, it's about using as many song lyrics as possible. And I think really both. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. All right. So, yeah, so this, is, this isn't a fight just for the souls of these two young lizard men, but it's about the fight that you've been fighting your whole life alone in the darkness. Right the here. The fight right here. of all lizards everywhere. You are in a hostile, horrible universe, and if only you can turn just these two around, maybe you could turn around the whole species. It's heavy stuff. Heavy yeah, stuff. Yeah. All right. Let's let's take a break. <laughs> Real Process heavy. Let's, that. Let's, let's, let's all a have break. a moment. Yeah. Go ahead and just just go ahead and take a break here, and we'll we'll come back. And uh, big ups to Bonnie Tyler for this episode. Uh, we'll, we'll we've got two more hours of Nebula Jazz. Stick around. We'll be right back. 